Hey, how's everybody doing today? It's me, Rodman, from Top Stock Market Picks. I just wanted to go over a few things today on today's video. And it's going to be <coughs> about how to make your layouts to work, make a scan, make a watch list, as you can see here. One of the problems that I've been having, and I'm aware of it, and I'm going to fix it, um... So, first problem is, as you can see, I'll give you an example of what I'm talking about. But see how nice it is when you click on that, you can actually read that color. Um, that's not due to what you might think. It's actually how <laughs> you create the background colors to work. And that's what I'm going to show you guys today, how to do background colors for scans i did the ones for charts down below in fact it should be the most recent video <clears throat> but this one's going to be how to make what color to make my layouts from my uh watch list and my easy scans today so we'll bounce back and forth <clears throat> so the first thing i'll do is i'll go to get a watch list and as you can see, I love using the TC2000 cloud, so I'm going to be kind of doing it here. So basically, what I like about this, we're going to go up and we're going to go down to industry. We'll click on industry and we got, so we automatically know <coughs> that this is a big sector. Then I can go to price. It's the same thing, challenge. So in other words, um... That I can, so I'm going to go down and now in the group I can go to this industry which is high <coughs> look at all the stock so if I click on that <coughs> it will actually show up in the news right <coughs> so if I want all I have to do is go to my tools go to my cloud financial and I I, I like Right in here, I have my different ones that I want. Um, and all my different um, stuff. So I'm going to click on, probably I'm going to click on uh, MSM Financial or vice versa. But when I come here, I can click on Market Watch. It will automatically have my information once I log in. It will automatically save it for me. And um, the two I like the best is I like Mark, I like Google, <coughs> but I usually go Market Watch first. And as you can see, this is the sector of whatever stock it would be. So, say if I want to go over here and I want to look at <laughs> that one right there. So I will come back over to here. <coughs> and as you can see, it's got the information right there. Same with Google. It's got <coughs> the information right there. <coughs> now I'll launch a stock tweet. Now, wait a minute. We'll just log in. I'm automatically going to sign in. And there we go. <coughs> so these are the these are the the three I kind of watch for. Is this one and that. So I go between these three. Give me the best news. Uh, Yahoo was good at one time, but I think they dropped the ball. But like I said, that's a good thing. Um, so I just wanted to tell you guys about the, a little bit about the cloud. So anyways, so the next thing I'm gonna show you guys is when you make a watch list or a scan and what I choose for my watch list. So we'll come back over here. So obviously, as you guys can see, I kind of like to set mine up like this. 
so you have the symbol if you want the net the exchange the volume goes by and first pray uh, volumes and price <laughs> so that's what I like so let me go over to a regular watch list that I have <coughs> and just give you an example um, if I want to say I want to go over to industries and we're just gonna look we're just gonna type in what we're looking for so we'll just type in you I right. and um, I'll go right here <coughs> now of course you can see this sector but now supposing I come in brand new <coughs> we're gonna come up and we're gonna just for the sake of things we're just gonna go to um, basic minerals <coughs> now as you can see this is a pretty nice layout here because if I want to go in I'm gonna change the columns to what I want so my I go to overview <coughs> and we can do that and I'll do the same over here I'm gonna go to my overview and why and then over <coughs> all right as you can see I create a watch list but it doesn't show the numbers when you go in your actual sector and do that so see how the colors are nice to read now sometimes you can make them <coughs> hard to read okay so there's this one color so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come over here now and I'm gonna show you guys how <coughs> to pick <coughs> the right colors now obviously <coughs> it's all about the layout and this is where some people can run into trouble um, like right here now you see how hard it is to read where it says volume it's in that blue but if I come over here see how it's easier to read <coughs> the volume in this color versus that that's because of what we chose for the colors to straighten that out <coughs> What you need to do is see I like to go with a gray and then go with a black color. So if we do that still a little hard to see. So obviously we know that's not a good color. <coughs> now <coughs> that's a better color because see how you can <coughs> See how you can see the blue? So I'll go over here and I'm gonna show you guys another another color that I'm gonna make. And this color is gonna be a little different. Put it up over here. I'm just gonna try different ones, so just watch. gonna add to watch add to this layout add to watch add to this layout <coughs> <coughs> and you see how we done that now I'll do the second one So let me show you another one. I want to do another color. <coughs> All right, so let's see what we're going to do. <coughs> see it? How it's a little 
kind of a little off on the color. See how they all change? <laughs> but I prefer, the best color that I prefer is this one versus this one. That's <coughs> what I want to stick with. So I'm going to click to all my layouts. <coughs> so to give you an example, say I go to my watch list. Now I'm just going to pull a regular... Watch list out of here. I'm going to do uh, <coughs> my pink sheet. And you see how it's automatically set up with that color? <coughs> I'll come over here. <coughs> now, I'll come down. <coughs> That's the color I like. But I'm not going to hit apply. All right, because I just want to change the color for this. If I hit a plan, I'm going to save it. <coughs> so say if I want to go black versus the gray. I'm just going to save it. <coughs> but this is the actual save color. So if I come here, see how bright it's a better color than me. Same thing here. You change your background color, it's going to give you a better column. For you to do what you want to do. Um, Alright. So come in. So this gives you a better color. So actually you guys. Just want to. <coughs> and it's going to be the same thing with a scan. <coughs> come over here. We're going to do the same thing. We're just going to go NY. For um, <coughs> the column. And then we're going to come over here and I'm going to change the color. But like I said, you, we can recommend. So usually we could do um, this color and then do that color. All right. Or I can come over here. <coughs> do this color with maybe like a a blue which is alright see that's a little foggy so we don't want that that's pink we, that's not a good one um, that's too much There's a nice rust color, so that, that looks good. <coughs> See, my two favorite colors, you could go with this one, and then we could do that. But to be honest, with you, I think the best one, my, in my choice, is that color right there. I think that, that that's one. So between this one... <coughs> Between this one or that one. But to be honest with you, you guys can make the decision. What do you guys like better? That one or this one? I prefer this one right here. <coughs> so I'll just go here. <coughs> go up to apply. Now when I hit up uh, all watch list in this layout. Well, all watch list. So I'm just going to select all watch list now. <coughs> <coughs> watch when I go to this one now I'll just delete this <coughs> I'll come in and I'm just gonna go for any watch list I'm just gonna pick any of them out of my personal criteria boom see it's nice so you got the color so be careful on what color you choose for your skins because it's gonna be hard <coughs> to do that and the same thing for your scans. Obviously. <laughs> so 
me, obviously. So I'm not gonna. Oh. <laughs> but yeah, so basically, what you guys can do is just try different colors. Um. So if we want, we could probably go with like a white with a black. Um, if you guys want, we could go with like a gray with a, a green. <clears throat> it's really what you guys want. I mean, here you go. Kind of light dark. So you got that one. So basically... <clears throat> You guys can have fun with it this way. I think it works pretty cool. So it's definitely your colors. Like I said, that's my favorite one. So I just wanted to show you guys that. <clears throat> Beautiful. So I just wanted to show you guys that. So I'll just clear that out. Um, and... Uh, All right, I'm going to show you guys how <laughs> I showed you guys one part of how I made dip my scan shot. <laughs> and now <laughs> I'm going to take those same scans that I made and put them in a watch list. <laughs> and this is how I'm going to do it. <laughs> so obviously the first thing we need to do <laughs> is I'll get rid of this. Um, first thing we need to do is obviously, um, I think this, yeah. So this is, this is a layout I made. You got your chart here and the different stocks with the price sectors I like. <coughs> so I'm going to actually make a watch list now. And to make the watch list, I'm just going to make it right here. So I'm going to name it my watch list all right so i'm going to save it so now we got that all set so first thing we're going to do is We're going to go back. To the scans. <coughs> I'm going to get everything up to date. It's like 6.40 in the morning. I'm going to get everything up to date. Get all of them spinning. Make sure they're all done for the day. Because I'm going to actually go out. I'm going to show you guys how, I, how to set up the watch list now. <coughs> And I go through how I pick up the criteria. <clears throat> so the first thing I do is actually copy that. One cent, 25 cents. <clears throat> now I just wanted to show you guys, there's another program I got too. I normally don't talk about other programs, but after I'm done with this video, I'm going to upload that one. But it's an important tool. Um, probably won't have there in the arsenal. But anyways, so now I'm going to go to watch list right up here okay <clears throat> and I'm gonna create my watch list by a new one <clears throat> now I'm gonna go back to scan and I'm gonna go in right doesn't matter and I'm gonna click on right here and I'm going to click copy all symbols. And then automatically this is going to pop up. And you could just put the dollar sign if you want in. And it will show what we want. Click on that. Now that watch list. <coughs> is already included. <coughs> okay. And then now when I come up here. Okay, when I come up here, now I'm going to log out. No, I'm going to log out of this. Same thing here, I'm going to log out of this one. Because what you're going to do is, we're going to refresh 
the screen. And what I'm going to do is make it quick. I just go to home and I have it preloaded. This is what my, this is what I, I'm going to open it up now. It's open. <coughs> now everything will be up to date. <coughs> like I said, <coughs> I click financial news and obviously now that will, I got that open. Now everything will change to that number, that it's changed, like I told you. Okay, now we're going to come over here and I'm going to get market. I'm already, I already, I'm going to log out and log back in. In fact, I'm just going to open up a brand new screen. And the reason why is I want to show you guys that. So I'll open up the app, bring it back over here. Now, obviously, I got to sign in. Going to sign in. <coughs> I'm going to go to the heat map now. Now you already know I got that one done. So let me get the second one. I'm going to move fast. All right. And the next one's going to be. 25 cents, 50 cents. I'm going to come over here. Same thing. <laughs> come over here. Copy the all. And we're going to come over here. Now, obviously, you guys can change the layouts you guys want. It's up to you guys how you want to 50 cents, $1. Um... And then, of course, you're going to put a chart in here, right? Because you want to know what you're doing. So, but I'll show you guys that in a minute. And we're going to do this so you guys can see how good it looks. You know what I'm saying? And come over here and I'll just get this one copied. One dollar, two dollars. Now I'm going to come over here and I'm going to select all, all list and I'll, I'll always refresh it so i'm going to come over here i'm going to click copy and i'm going to go dollar fifty so now that's already in the watch list right here all right same thing over here. i'm going to go over and create another one right here all right come back over to scan hit refresh I'm going to come over here, copy, $2, <coughs> and now all the stocks are right here, $2 to $1, all right, same thing over here, now I'm going to go down to the one here, and get the stocks that are $3, Two dollars to three dollars. Two dollars, three dollars. Okay. Come over here. <coughs> Go back here. Create the watch list. <coughs> You're going to make it. Now I'm going to come back here. I'm going to get this one before I forget. Three dollars, four dollars. <coughs> Now I'm going to just fresh this up. I'm going to copy. And then look for... Copy. Now I'll come over here. <coughs> and these are all the stocks here. And like I said, we're going to go through and screen the criteria. <coughs> Obviously, I'll come over here. We're going to look at it and see what sector we got it under. So, we got it there. So, no problem. I'm just going to hit cancel. Because all I want to do is see what it is. So, we'll just come here. Type in B. Break out. We're going to save everything like that. All right, and 
then we'll do the next one. In fact, the next one's gonna be easy. I'll just create it now when I'm here. And I'll just change it to, it's gonna, it's easy, I'll just do it. It's gonna be $4, all right. <laughs> now we're gonna come over here, I'm gonna go to the easy scans from three to four. I'm just gonna click refresh. Come over here, copy the all. <laughs> all right, the same thing over here. I'm gonna click on this. All right, and then I'm gonna go down to copy all. And I'm gonna look for this. So now, now I come here. <laughs> Got everything here. The only thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go to breakout. Alrighty, uh, oh, a little bit of a problem here. <coughs> but anyways, uh, oh, oh, alright, it's still, alright. <coughs> like I said, for this, we just gotta move the things back. And um, what I mean by that is you can just, like, usually what I end up doing is I'm just gonna end up doing this this way <laughs> and then I usually just push this here like this and the same thing down here I'm just gonna go to here type in B and then for the adjustments it's as good just like this I'll do the same thing with this one come down here I'm gonna select B all right all set there, same thing here. I'm just gonna come down, select B, and um, all you guys can scroll, all right? But this is what I like to do, how I do them. So I just want to, and plus the nice color, you got, that color will be just the way you want it. <coughs> I usually do, do you just move that one there? That'd be good. And like I said, you 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 can even move the symbols back. But here's the layout. So now we got all the stocks <coughs> in your watch list. <coughs> now I know some of you um do it differently but I like this layout right here that I showed you from my scans I already show you guys how to make <coughs> the scan layout but anyways now we'll put a little chart over here so we can kind of look at the stocks and to do that we'll just build up a, a brand new chart I'm gonna show you guys how to <coughs> now how you can create your charts to look like every factory one just go up to tools and go to um oh go up to tools and go right down here what you guys can do down here is you can change your color here by doing it i like the black or gray but i'll show you so say if we want to go Say I want to go this color with black. I'll just say this color. <coughs> so watch when I open up a window. <coughs> See the color? 
So that's what it's going to be my new color now is this one. So watch. Now I'm going to come up here. <laughs> now watch what happens. I'm going to go up to chart. Going to create one. I'm going to put it in here and look where it is. Now I'm going to come in. We're going to go to a few things we're going to do is just move these value columns down. In fact, it is kind of good to have the columns up for you. Just so you can like kind of get a strict line. But I don't like the columns, so I like to go back. <coughs> Open it up again. And then we're going to change the color. <coughs> what I like to do is go white. Percent. Change these to a hundred percent. All right. <laughs> and I like my lines a little more brighter, but I prefer to have a nice, like the blue. So we'll hit save, but we're going to change it. So we want solid colors. So I'm going to change everything to solid. <laughs> All right, price some as. Um, so we'll save that. We can give it a label here if we want. I usually just put 100%. Oh, I'm just going to put 100%. <coughs> and then I'll save it. <coughs> and there you go. There's our little thing there. All right, so we got, we'll do the one daily, we'll do the one minute, we'll do the um, out one hour shot. We got our little candles there with the one hour. We can do the daily just by dropping down. So now here's the daily shot for the stock that we're looking at. <laughs> so this watch list of the stocks between one, buying between one to four, Four thousand, so kind of know what these stocks are doing. Then all my other scans that I have <coughs> give you an example. It's the stocks from one penny volume from one volume to four thousand, and then this is my other scan. And for my other scans, I usually do it this way, <coughs> just so I can look at those stocks quick. Brings it down to twenty six. Come over here. I got the same thing. 1056 so so on and so forth now when we get to here 3000 for the volume <coughs> greater than 4000 for that just because I want to <coughs> because those stocks will trigger in here and then the so forth here like I said you guys can do your own thing I like to do it this way <coughs> Because then <laughs> it lets me know what's going. But if I wanted to go in and change this to say I wanted to go to my original 1,000. I got 141. Watch it go up from 141. <coughs> 141 to 50. You know what I mean? But I can also find those same stocks over here. That's why I like to keep the volume. Because I'm going to watch a stock over here. I want the volume to be up a little higher. <coughs> I mean, but if you guys want to do it this way, good. Some of you guys might want to say, well, hey, say if I want no volume. Well... If I want no volume, that's good. But watch what I'm going to get. I'm going to get all these zeros. Now, say I don't want the zeros there. Well, easily, because that's what I got this for. <coughs> this gives me all the stocks that have a, a volume of more than one penny. So, this one is right here. It's already here. So, if this moves up in volume, I'm going to find it right in here. So any stocks that go over a thousand, over four thousand, or whatever, I'm gonna get alerted here.
But you guys can change this just to wear it. But I have it at 4,000, so because a lot of these other scans are not set up. But how I fix this for me is I'm just going to go in here, click on this, go to volume, and I usually just go greater than one penny. Now watch what happens. There'll be no more zeros. Watch. <laughs> the zeros are gone. All right. What I usually like to do is just go in here and just put it at a thousand if you guys want to do that. And now you guys are going to get all the stocks that are over a thousand. <clears throat> it's up to you. You guys can play around with it. <clears throat> like I said, I'm not really concerned. If a stock's moving over 4,000, I can just look right here and go to my high volume and see what stocks are up. So that's what I prefer to do is I like to keep this at 4,000. So I'm just going to put... But your preference, you guys can do anyway. But this is what I like to do for my layouts here. <laughs> All right. So then we got this here. <clears throat> Just had to um, take a breather for a minute. But anyway, so this is what I wanted to show you guys. So now the other thing I like to do is now that I got this all set, is that now I like to set everything up on Buzz volume with the highest volume. All right. And what we're going to do now is we're going to... This is a... Uh, I do it, so we're going to get everything picked out. <clears throat> now, obviously, <clears throat> we want to look at our, our stocks, see what this one's doing. Come over here. I can see the candle chart over here. <clears throat> and if you guys want to even get Say we want to get a longer chart, but shorter charts. Here's the next way I'm going to show you guys how to do it. And what I mean by that is I'm going to make... My weightage lists. I'm going to make another watch list group for you guys. Which, as you can see, is just basic. I'm going to show you guys a, another way to where you're going to get a little bit more of a watch list by making it this way. So what we're going to do is I'm going to make the same thing, but we're just going to make it a little different as far as how many boxes we're going to use because we want one long one. So how we're going to do that is the first thing we're going to do is going to make our boxes. One more. <laughs> All right, so we're going to come back over here now. So we got one, two, six, seven, eight. So now we're going to come over here. We got our six, seven, eight, right? Here's what we're going to do. We got our eight here. But what I'm going to do is watch. I'm going to gonna take this, we got our six scan, we're going to start to put them in, but the first thing we're going to do is we're going to create our chart, <laughs> so 
set it for the daily, but I'm going to go in and actually pick a custom shot, which I like the cool classic one. I'll just throw this one in there. Going to get rid of that. And for now, we're just going to go daily. I'm going to put in AMD. AMD. <laughs> now, this docket. It's going to do a rip pattern. But now, as you see, I, we want a longer chart. I want it to be longer. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put it up top here. <laughs> so I got what I want. So I got six, and I need one more. Column. So we're going to have our six watch list in here, right? So the first one we're going to do <clears throat> I'm automatically going to come over here. We're going to go to my watch list. And the first one we're going to do is the one with the volume. Which would be right here. Now, obviously, I'm going to change the column. I have a couple of them in here. <coughs> and don't worry about it, because you guys are going to get nervous. But I told you before, we can bring a little bit in here, and we can make some changes. And by doing that, scroll down. So I want to go here, and I'm going to go right about there, and I can make some little changes. See, because I can just make just enough so it looks comfortable. And you might want to tweak a little bit because of the price, like that. But pretty much so. Now there's your indicator for, and look at the chart now so we can click on it. Now we got a little bit of a longer chart so we can actually really see how, how the stock is doing with a long chart. You know what I'm saying? <coughs> or if we want, we could split up to two and have a, a day, um, one minute chart and a daily chart on that side. I'm going to do the same thing here. Go over here. We're going to go to basics. Same thing here. We see that we're going to get a little bit of a problem. Sometimes it could be scrolling through. And <laughs> volume can be up. Um, say I want to see if these stocks are optionable. I can just click here. Go to edit. And I can just go here, go to basic, and we'll just get a check mark. And it will tell us if these stocks are optionable. And we could just fix that. Yeah, it's by going like that. Um, I can fix that. Uh, and like I said before, we can look and see which stock we got that has a little bit of a volume. Um, like that. And um, like I said before, we can just bring it to a large screen. And we don't have to do it. We can just change that to options, which is nice. <laughs> and now we can just see if there's options in that stock. That's something you can do. You can just add that little thing there if you want. Or if you don't, we'll go to the next watch list. Now we're going to get the one that we did one penny to 25 cents, we're going to do 50 cents. And then, of course, the next one will come over here. We're going to do... <coughs> we're going to come over here now. What are we going to do? We're going to do 25 cents to 50. So now we got to do a dollar, 50 cents to a dollar. Just type the letter B in here. <coughs> And we got that, and I could do the optional in there too. So I do that. You can just do that, and we can put the option in there like we did before. 
just so you know if the stock's optional then we come to the next watch list and obviously what are we going to do next we got 50 cents to a dollar now we're going to do a dollar to two all right and i believe no actually we need eight so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna <coughs> split it up here but i'm just showing you how we're gonna do it so we're gonna go here oh, i'm sorry so basically We're going to go here. Now I'll go to the next one. Oh. We got a $2. So we're going to go from 2 to 3 Oh, all right. So we are going to need to fix it. No big deal. Come over here. <coughs> I'm just going to put it right here. So yeah, we're gonna fix it. I'm just gonna <coughs> now I'm just gonna do a few things and I'm gonna show you guys how we're gonna do it. Basically, what we're gonna do is I'm gonna go back here and I'll go to the first one, which is right here. And I'll go up here. I'm going to change it to, the, you know, the basic B. And I'll, oh, no, I'm going to hit exit. I'm going to go right here. Go to the column. Go to $3. Come up here. Go here. Now, obviously, we can scroll down for what we're looking for, which would be right there. <laughs> and like I said, we'll do the same. <laughs> So I got the same here. So now the next one I want to do is I'm going to go one to two is correct because we're going from three to one. Now we're going to go two to three. So I'll come back over here, grab the two to three. <coughs> First thing we're going to do is change it. I'm going to put it right here. Then all I'm going to do now is move this to this. <laughs> then I'm going to move this one to this one. Then I'm going to move this one to this one. And then I'm going to delete this one. And now all we're going to do is come in, fix the columns. Go down. That column's fixed. I don't have to... That column's fixed. I'll come over here. Oh, this one's all set. This one's all set. We just go like that just so we can see the just so we can see the little arrow. Everything looks good. Like I said, if you guys get a bigger stock and you want to add more indicators, just scroll down. See what one is your biggest symbol. You know what I mean? I usually go to the penny stocks. <laughs> And get one with the longest symbol just to use it as a measurement but now everything good like I said we can kind of just add a few more things here so it looks good we'll change this one like I said oh wait hold on I screwed up on that I just got to uh, put the B all right there we go see we got everything right looks like we can just do a few adjustments if you feel something's not right, you can tweak it, you know what I mean? Just like that, if you want that. Or if you want to add another indicator. So pretty much you can see what's what. Usually I like to keep my just about there, which is a pretty good size. <laughs> um, that looks good, that's good, that's good. So all right, so now, and then look, see how I got two shots in if I want to I could go with another one um just go to a classic one um a good one 
No, if I want, I could just change it to one day. Well, this is daily. I'll do a, <coughs> an hour shot. <coughs> so, now let's watch. Now, I'm going to put the minute shot first. So, I'm going to come over here and I'll just put it here. So, now if we want, we got two shots if we want. And then we can just bring it up to what we want to do. Whether or not we just want it to be... <coughs> one shot. Or we can go to this one. Or we can go to this one. Which is what you got here. <coughs> or this one. And we just use it this way. Make it one shot. And if we don't want... The hour, we can just delete it here. And look, we'll go with the full screen. <laughs> so this is what I like to do. Look at the stock. Just see if I'm buzzing around. See if the market's closed. <laughs> or if I want to just research and see what stocks are coming out today. I'll, I'll do this. Uh, so I just wanted to do that. Market opens up at 9 o'clock, so we got this layout here. And this is good because we can look at our stocks, see what stocks are, are moving up in volume. <coughs> I'll look over here. <coughs> All right, nothing's really kicked. Now, what I'd like to do... <coughs> Say if I want a watch list <coughs> of just the stocks. In fact, this is the wrong one. I'll show you. I'm going to show you this way. I'd rather just do it this way. <coughs> now, this is a way that you guys can customize your columns. What kind of columns you want to make. This is a good way. Do you need to do it this way or the four way? Um, and you guys might like, actually, you know what? Maybe the four-way would be better. All right, so let's do that. Let's create our own columns so you guys know how to do that. <clears throat> so obviously, we're going to make a scan up where we're just going to get the stocks that are, are at, from one penny to, to five dollars. And I'm going to show you guys how to do that. And that's how we're going to set it up. We're going to give it its own price. <coughs> so I'm going to make a brand new scan. I'm not even going to goof around. I'm just going to go to stocks. Whether it be NASDAQ or Penny. Then the next one is going to come down to basic. And we're going to click between one penny to five dollars. <coughs> okay. And like I said before, I'm going to do it. I'm going to do one more condition. I'm going to go to basic. <coughs> I just want stocks greater than one volume. So I get all the hundreds in there. All right. Once I do that, I'm all set. Now I'm going to come over here. And I'm going to save this right here. Give the scan a name. And basically, it's just going to, I'm going to do the money. I'm going to do one. Point one, and then we're going to do 5.00 so this is for the penny stock so now I got this guy it's going to give me all the stocks from one penny to five dollars and the volume is going to be anything from a hundred down so if something <coughs> and if you guys want you guys can make a scan <coughs> where it stocks greater than zero and up and I'm going to show you that. So now I'll put this over here. I'll come over here. I'm going to make another scan. I'm going to create a custom one. We're going to go back here to get this. All right. I'm going to come here. I'm going to do same thing again. We're going to do price. All right.
Now the next thing we're going to do is go to volume. Now remember I did stocks from one penny and up. So now I'm going to do stocks greater than zero. So any stocks that are greater than zero are going to show up in this indicator. So we're going to click here. All right, let me just put that over here. <coughs> now here's how we're going to fix it. All right. All right, so here's what I'm going to do. Now I'm going to come back over here. Now watch what I'm going to do. I want stocks less than zero. Now watch what happens. No, I got no stocks. <coughs> so watch. going to do this. Now watch what we get. <laughs> now we got 28 stocks that are all zero. <laughs> all right. So and now is when the stock goes up one point one volume, I'm going to see it in here. So what I'm going to do to prove I'm going to save that scan, but I'm going to do different. One cent, five dollars. All right. And you guys know I'm a big fan of notebooks, so let me just get this over here. So now I'm going to put, see, volume over one penny. So I'm just going to put volume over one penny. So we're going to come over here now. Basically, I'm going to go volume, space, V. O L U M E one point zero. So anything that goes over one point zero is gonna show up on that watch list. One cent five dollars volume zero point zero one. So I'm gonna save the skin. like that now so in other words now I gotta fully scan <laughs> so now if I want to go over to my scans and say I'm gonna I'm gonna duplicate this copy and by duplicating all I'm gonna do is double it up <laughs> I'm gonna put it over here but watch what I'm gonna do I'm gonna change the name because I want this to be set up as This is going to be just the dollar sign. This is going to be nine, my nine scan. So six, seven, eight, nine, nine, and space. <coughs> and you guys can already see, I already got this made up. I'm going to save it so it's already done, right? So now I'm going to come over here now and I'm going to I'm going to get the scan first. I'm going to come over here, I'm going to look for it. And it's already here. I'm going to get it. And first thing I'm going to do is open it up cuz we're going to we're going to change the column to what I want, which is basic. I well, mean, dividend news, but yeah, so I'm just going to put it in here for now. So I'll shove it in. I'm going to get rid of this one. <coughs> and now I'm going to save this as a main thing in my... In Nine my, easy scans. So I'm going to save this as an actual layout. So when I go to get my chart, I'll look at it when I want to create a new... <coughs> 
a new column, it's going to be right here. It's going to say my nine easy scans. And I open it up and look, it's right there. See? <laughs> so, in other words, now what I'm going to do is just come over here. And like I said, I'm going to get this one right here. And by looking at it, I'll just look and see what, what it's saved under. Copy that. Breakout stocks. <laughs> so now what I'll do is I'm gonna come up, I'm gonna save it. Now I'll come over here, I'm gonna click on it right there. <laughs> I'm gonna get it, and now here's my watch list. So now I got all this scan. So now I'm looking at a stock and I'll say, okay, I'll look at what ones are hitting volume. I got 28 of them. All right, none are going up in volume. And I'll go up here and say, Oh, got it one me. Got one moving up. 5,000 shares. Boop. That's how I spot that. So, <clears throat> that's how I wanted to show you guys how to set that up. <clears throat> now, obviously, this is a good way to make columns up. You can adjust, figure things out. <clears throat> As you can see, I got a lot of columns. <clears throat> so, basically, I'm going to show you guys the three that I got and just give you guys an idea and show you what they what ones they have <laughs> come over here and um, now we could do the same thing with different charts um, with different indicators so say if I want to copy this scan but I want a duplicate copy. Now I can throw it in here, right? <laughs> and then of course the next thing we're going to do is we're going to go to... <laughs> so right off the bat, I noticed that I got this one has basic and dividends. This one has the same thing, basic and dividends. <laughs> and the words might be a little short. So these look just like the same, right? <laughs> the same ones. So this is one. This is basic. This is two. So we'll look at. We'll see everything. Everything's the same size. The only thing we might want to do is I might want to short so the letters are big. I usually like to do this. So I'll come down here and I'm going to do... um. E, X, T, and just a big E. So now, now I can put that here and watch. What Next happens. T. Watch what happens over here. I'm gonna, I'm gonna click on here. We're gonna go to edit, and then I'm gonna look for that dividend. And then what I could do is I could just put this in here and watch what happens. See how nice it is. So I can even make that with bigger letters. All we're going to do is come down. We're going to lock, lock cap and we're going to go E, X, T. <laughs> Next T. And it's just easier for you guys to understand where you're coming from, because I'm gonna go in, now I'll come back down and I'll put this in. And now it's gonna, watch, look how nice. Now it's nice and big. So now I can come over to dividend day and just put, <coughs> just <laughs> leave that how it is. <coughs> and we'll get some stuff, but like I'm saying, you really don't get much, but that's just a quick way. So now I got it two ways. I can either have it this way, which I already know, X dividend day. I know what that means, so I could just put it there. <coughs> Whatever you guys want. <coughs> and the same thing here. So this is just for breakout stocks and... 
main breakout. So like now I'm gonna change this layout to a different name because I don't wanna get it confused because I already got <laughs> three names. So I would do A, I might wanna do A, maybe I'll do B. So in other words, now, <coughs> this is B and this one is A. So now I'll come over here and I'm gonna edit. I'm gonna go up here and I'm gonna save this one to A, A, then hit, of course, hit save, and then now, I'm gonna go up here and review the ones I got, and then I'm gonna get rid of, <coughs> see, I got A and A, so now I'm gonna get rid of the first one, And then the second one, then this one is this one. <coughs> if we want to leave it <coughs> this way. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to change that name to C. And then we'll put him in alphabetical order. So now I'll come over here, click on edit, come back over here. Save it, change this to C, breakout stocks. Now we'll come over here. Oh, somebody's now I got this here, so I'm going to go in now, open this up, and now I'm going to change this to penny stocks. And watch this now. Now watch how many we got. <clears throat> now I did this for the U.S. stream. We got 147. <clears throat> stocks. Now I could do the same. But that's just with this. Stocks. One volume and over. All right. So that's just this one. You notice how it this we just have the US stocks, this is penny stocks. So that's what I'm telling you, there's a great difference there. Okay. I'm gonna put <coughs> this here. Now look over here. Buying from one, but now I got U.S. stocks here, which you guys can see. I'll show you here. U.S. stocks, and now I'm going to change this one to all the NASDAQ ones. Now, instead of 28, we might jump up. So, we got 548 stocks <coughs> that are penny stocks. But these are the ones in the U.S. sector, which is the top. Then we got the bottom. All right. So that's what I'm going to show you guys. But yeah, see how we got here? So in other words, now, now I want to go into our thing here. And we're going to go back over. And now we're going to get rid of... <coughs> The B. So now say I want to see what other ones I got here. But at least now, see. And then of course I got all these other ones here that I would have to go through and just clean them up and <coughs> and see what ones I got. But when you come up with a name, think of what you want to call it. Where sometimes I might just want. When I do one, sometimes I'll just do, to give you an example, and I'll show you, um, <clears throat> I 
I'll show you with this again. Maybe I might want to do something different. So, to give you an example, say I want to make it so I can just concentrate on stocks. I don't want the exchange. I don't care about the exchange. I can find it after. It doesn't bother me. So if I want to, all I have to do is edit it. I can get rid of that and just look at it and say, okay, <clears throat> that's a basic one. All right. So I'll just put it here. So then I could come over to here. Now I believe here we go. So that first one was my basic. Just tells me what the news is. So I magically know, okay, that's a good one. Now, let me see the second one. Um, this just shows you the price ratio. But then again, I'll see. So 10 volume, which is 10 boxes. Then we'll go down to this. This is a four column. <coughs> this is just when I'm looking up stocks. Like if I want to make a scan, multiple scans for different sectors, I use that particular column. You know what I mean? So if I'm looking for stocks with scans, I'll put that as a main scan. So we'll go over and we'll look at the name. So I might want to say I want to make that a main scan, right? So it's no big deal. All I would have to do is come over, go to edit, I'm going to save it as main scan, so I know that's a column just to look for scan, so I might go L, O, look. Or I'll just go my M Y for scan, and then I'm just gonna go scan. Or using abbreviation, I usually like to go S E. <laughs> so that's just a main scan, and I'll hit save. <laughs> now, when I go down to get that other one, the four columns, I can get rid of it now because I don't need it. And then I'm just going to put MY and watch what happened. There's my easy scan up here. So just another way for different scans. Because then you guys can make a nice scan layout with that. You know what I mean? Trial and error. Like everything else. So I showed you guys how to do the watch list. <coughs> These are the night scans in the market. So we can see what's going on. <clears throat> Anything that's going to break out of the U.S. stocks, which is right here. <clears throat> and then, of course, <clears throat> we know over here, um, another thing you guys could do with this one is, this is all the um, penny stocks and NASDAQ. So, say we want to get a column in here. Well, we can just go to basic, right? And say we want the index. <laughs> it's just going to show you that. So other than that, you guys could break this down to where... <coughs> and you've got 148 stocks. So this is just going to let you guys know if a stock's going to move up the list. You know what I'm saying? So I might want to have this as a watch list. And you can check it every day and you can see what the volume is. So how do you make a watch list? I showed you just go like this. Copy it. One cent, five dollars, <laughs> volume 0 0.01. <laughs> we'll come over here. We'll make a watch list. 
Alright, I'm gonna click over here. You guys are just hitting OK. Um, probably got it set. And of course, we can save the columns. We'll just go to here and we'll go to breakout and we'll get number A. And then now, watch, I'm gonna just take it and um, just exit out now and we'll come back to it I'll just put it right here so now then I'm gonna come here I'm gonna widen this up or actually no, I don't even have to watch all I have to do is copy and then I'm just gonna look for that stock which would probably be uh, I just gotta type in up oh, right there and now we got oh 566 stocks <coughs> so there's our watch list <clears throat> so if we want to check the ones for for volume or our percent gain we could do that here and the other cool thing about it say we go up to our map list we got to log out all right we're going to log out of everything because like i said before we want to refresh it <laughs> and then i gotta keep on forgetting not to do that but i just come here go to home log back in <laughs> and i'll go to heat map and now if i'm not mistaken here the, we can go to sectors We'll see what's going on in the sector. So I know the energy sector, this universe, and the same thing. So I don't have to go to FinViz now. So now it's now, say if I want to come here and I want to go to that list we made. All right, I'm looking for it. Oh, here it is. So I can say right now, these are the three sectors that we got. These are all the stocks that are in the different sectors. <clears throat> so we, you know, two are in basic minerals and healthcare and that. So, and then now we can look. So now say if I want to just do this, I could split it up. And now watch, everything's going to be right along. And if I want to click on the information. I'm just going to go to finance. And I want to click on summary. Now everything's going to change because I'm, uh oh, I'm already logged into to Google, in fact, I should log in. Oh, I don't have my password. I'll do it after. No big deal. <clears throat> but anyways, <coughs> so now we got that, right? So say if I want to go to my watch list again, which is right here. <coughs> All right. Oh, no, wrong way. I'm sorry. I, I want to do this. So now I want to see this stock. There probably won't be no news on it, but I'll get it. GVS. We got anything in stock tweets? Oh, come on. Oh. <coughs> hmm. We got nothing. Oh, there it is right there. So there's a stock. And of course, we'll have it on Market Watch too. I might have to refresh. Like, the best thing to do would be to just get it all set. Then I'll come back over here and we'll launch Market Watch. <laughs> It'll take a few minutes. 
Okay. Now I'll sign, I'm already there. It's got the stock I'm looking at, which is right here on the heat map. G V A M. All right. L M F. All right. I'll go back over to news and now I'll get stock tweets. That will take a few minutes and I'll bump that here. Just give me a minute and uh, it will show up the symbol. <laughs> All right. So it should automatically clear on on stock tweet and I don't think it's on stock tweet yeah I see it. <laughs> not gonna um, show up because like I guess that when we show up on another one it'd be good but we can try this one. We'll see if it shows up on this one. <laughs> yeah, I think I need to um, sign out and sign back in. Yeah, there we go. But anyway, you guys know how it works. <coughs> but that's that. So now say if I want to look at the NASDAQ 100 and I want to get this chart. See, some of the stocks will be in market. Watch someone. See, now I got that right there. There it is. So that's pretty much what the cloud works with the scan. So, um... And I wanted to, but it's cool here. Yeah, we can do different ones. So we got the sector, the industry, what what we're looking at in our watch list. So um, that's it. So I want to get over to this game. But there you go. Now we got everything cool with everything else now. So hopefully you guys get the watch list. Like this is just one where... <coughs> We got the main what and the little chart here so you can keep an eye on what's up, what's going on, any stocks that, like I said, going at, the, but at least you can do this so you can keep an eye. So you always know where the stock is. All right, I'm going to wrap this up and <clears throat> next video I'm going to do is show you guys how to, how to make a shot with the four charts and how I follow them and pick them. So stay tuned. Hope you enjoyed this video and I'll be bringing you a lot more. Thank you and God bless.